Sahara Delavine is a classic example of a fallen star. After being one of the top models of her generation, she had a drastic meltdown after photos and videos of her looking a little too strange were caught on camera and spread online. The next thing we know, news about her addiction went viral and everyone was talking about it. Recently, though, the model turned actress proudly revealed that she is making progress and has been sober for months. On top of that, Kara gave kudos to one of her closest friends, Margot Robbie, for helping her find herself and saving her life from drugs. So, how did Margot Robbie help Kara? Delavine, and what are we going to expect from the model? Keep watching until the very end to find out. But before we continue, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I have subscribed and I will reply to your comment. Are you ready? Number 3. Her Career the model was born on August 12, 1992 in Hammersmith, London. She lived with her two sisters, and I bet you've heard their names as well. One of them is Poppy Delavine, an independent English model and actress who inspired Cara to enter the industry. This is why it's no secret that Cara hails from a wealthy family. For instance, her grandpa was the publishing executive Sir Jocelyn Stevens, who was also the grandson of newspaper owner Sir Edward Holton, and the nephew of magazine publisher Sir Edward George Warren. Holton. But wait, there's more. Her grandmother Janie Sheffield was the lady-in-waiting to Princess Margaret, so to say Cara Delevingne is connected would be an understatement. Cara then transferred from the Francis Holland School for Girls to Bedale School, so she could concentrate on her acting and music. This was one of the most crucial parts of her career. As she worked to create her own future, she also understood what her family was all about and the tragic toll it had taken and was still taking. She told Vogue how her family was all about the whole parties and horse racing thing and never really liked it. She also shared how her mother's addiction affected her so much. Growing up, it was horrible. It shapes the childhood of every kid whose parent has an addiction. Kara said, You grow up too quickly because you're parenting your parents. My mother's an amazingly strong person with a huge heart and I adore her. But it's not something you get better from. I don't think. I know there are people who have stopped and are fine now but not in my circumstances. She's still struggling. While things were already pretty rough, Rough, they just got worse over time. At 15, she was diagnosed with depression, and a year later, she discovered she suffered from dyspraxia. Because of this, the model had to deal with a lot of stress, which affected her at a very young age. But she didn't allow this setback to break her. Instead, she uses it as a motivation to become better. This is when she started pursuing a career in the industry and decided to make a name for herself. Soon after, Cara Delevingne became a brand name in the fashion industry and in Hollywood. From being an Instagram model, Cara conquered the biggest runways in the industry. From Victoria's Secret to luxury brands, her face was in every brand you know. But her shine faded when she found herself in the same hellhole her mother was in. After vowing not to go the same path as her mother, who struggled with addiction, Cara had a meltdown after she drowned with substance abuse. Number 2. Cara and her addiction Cara admitted she was not okay. The model and actress shared an awoke cover story, how a traumatic childhood set her down a drug and alcohol spiral before she was able to get sober and clean. Delavine, who experienced a very public fall from grace in 2022, claimed that her trauma stems from the fact that she spent most of her youth caring for her bipolar and heroin-dependent mother, Pandora 63, leading to the misconception that her life was simple. The meltdown was all over the internet, and honestly, it was pretty hard to ignore. Especially photos of the model looking very disturbed and unkept were uploaded and shared thousands of times with in seconds. Images from September last year showed how Kara seemed twitchy and uneasy as she walked about in soiled socks and no shoes at Wen Nice Airport. Fans were worried about her health after seeing photos of her smoking a pipe in her car and of sunken black eyes. DailyMail.com insiders claim that after going outside and taking a call, the former it girl appeared to have trouble controlling her body motions at times. She was seen pacing about outside looking strung up as though she was unable to stop moving. Despite being two hours late for a flight on a private plane. Soon after, it stirred concern among supporters, and of course, nasty rumors about the model started popping up. 
One fan wrote, Isn't it ironic that Cara Delevingne is wearing a Britney shirt while having a public meltdown? Somebody please stage an intervention and get this poor lady the help she so desperately needs. This was another awakening moment for the model, which decided she needed a change if she didn't want to end up dead. I've had interventions of a sort, but I wasn't ready. That's the problem. I hadn't seen a therapist in three years. I just kind of pushed everyone away, which made me realize how much I was in a bad place. She noted and shared that she decided to see a doctor after the pictures made the rounds on the internet. Delevingne, who's 30, eventually concluded that she needed to enroll in a 12-step program for a long-term treatment rather than choosing a quick fix, like a week retreat that she will not fully do. She also revealed how her loved ones helped her a lot. Aside from her family and girlfriend, one of the most prominent names who showed support was her friend Margot Robbie. In fact, Delevingne shared how her friend basically saved her life and pulled her out of getting drowned in her addiction. Number 1. Margot Robbie and Kara The two first met on the set of the movie Suicide Squad, in which both of them played roles. After the movie premiere, the two became instant BFFs. From sporting twinning outfits to going on vacations, they did everything best friends would do. Not to mention how Kara let Margot tattoo her, which needs a lot of trust if you ask me. Since then, the two have been inseparable, creating a very strong bond between them. Margot had also complimented her BFF whenever she was given the chance to, which is why it's only understandable how affected she was after photos of Carl looking anything but herself went viral on social media. Just like any friend would do, Margot instantly consoled Kara while the scandal was not an all-time high. The internet appreciated how Margot was being so thoughtful and showered her with good words. One fan wrote, Everyone needs a friend like Margot Robbie. I look forward to seeing cute pictures of the two of them in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and hopefully 70s. I wish Kara continued health and happiness. I have to wonder what Margot said that hit her. Selena tried everything. Makes me think Margot was the one who saw Kara at her absolute bottom of the day and that was the bond that no one else will have or understand. Another fan said. Recently, Margot also addressed a photo of her allegedly crying outside Kara's house. While she mentioned how worried she was when the photos of her best friend were shared online, she can tolerate fake news. So only a few days after, the photos of Kara became the headline. Margot was spotted crying following an alleged visit to the home of the supermodel, raising serious concerns that something might not be right. But it turns out that it was not true. Margot revealed in a recent interview with Vanity Fair that her mother called her shortly after the images of her crying went viral to see how she and Kara were doing. When asked about the photo, Robbie revealed it was actually not from Kara's house, but instead taken outside an Airbnb where she was staying. At the same time, she debunked the rumors that she was crying. The actress shared how her mother immediately called her after the photos were uploaded and asked whether she and Kara were okay, to which Robbie answered in the positive. Going into details, the actress said, I'm outside an Airbnb that I was renting for five days and I'm not crying. She recalled telling her mom, I had something in my eye. I'm trying to grab my face mask, trying to hold up a coffee cup and I couldn't get a hair out of my eye. The actress explained. As for Kara, the model made a few appearances after the incident. During an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, the supermodel addressed the criticism and reassured viewers that she was well saying, I was living my best life, but others found it a little unusual. I'm a little strange, but that's just who I am. No shame. The BFFs were also spotted attending the Met Gala after party together, and to say that they look stunning is an understatement. We are surely rooting for Kara's recovery. How about you? Let us know what you think in the comments below. But before you leave, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos about your favorite celebrities. There's more to the entertainment. Check out this related video to see more, and I will see you in the next video.